Hello everybody, thanks for stopping back by Wild Bird Creative. A big welcome to all the new subscribers. I want to talk today about how intimidating the blank page can be. A lot of people have a hard time starting because they don't know where. It's, it's artist's writer block, basically. The easiest way is to just start. Just make a mark. Grab a pencil and make some circles. Once you have put that first part on the page, it's a lot easier. Either because you love what you started with, or you don't like it, or you have an idea. But let's get going. I'm going to start with some titanium white and light blue, because I want to make a very, very pale blue for my next step. I'm just going to mix it up. And I don't care if it's not perfectly mixed because the variations will be great. They just add a nice bit of texture to it. I have my Crafters Workshop Circle Stencil. And I'm just going to come in and add a little bit of detail in this corner. Nothing fancy, nothing difficult. And then I'm going to flip it over and put it here and just run my brayer across it. And I'll just get a little tiny bit of detail up here. Again, nothing fancy. I've got an old page from a French dictionary that I picked up in a discard bin. And again, in the essence of time, I'm just going to use a glue stick. You may want to use one of your favorite adhesives. Let me scoot that over just a tiny bit more. There we go. Give it a quick roll with the brayer. Take another scrap from a different dictionary. Let's see, I think I'll go on this side. Just pop, I need more than that, that's for sure. Just put this up in this corner and just kind of decide how I want it. Moving it around just until I like how it sits. I kind of want the raggedy edge up here. Now I've got a Stencil Girl product stencil here. It's S349 and it's got kind of a nice map feel to it. So I'm going to put a little dab of my Naples Yellow, and I'm going to add a little bit of white to that. Give it a decent mixing here, and I'm just using a foam plate. You know, if you have an old dinner plate, you can use, that works perfect too. I'm all in favor of using what you have. And I'm just going to come in right over this page and just randomly get a pattern down. And I'm going to flip it over right on top of the other side and roll off the little bit that remained. Again, it just gives me some spots. And I might even add a tiny bit up here. I'm not sure. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll leave that the way it is. We've got some nice colors coming together here. I'm gonna use another Crafters Workshop stencil 
and just using the sponge, I'm not even going to dip it in again, I'm just going to go over this area where I had the circle. It just gives me a nice little effect there. Put my stencils into my cleaning bin. So here's what we've got. Just a nice base. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too busy. Don't know if I want to add another stencil or not. I think what I'm going to do is bring in my colored pencil in aquamarine and I'm going to turn this sideways and just add some scritchy scratchy lines just as if you're doing very quick cursive. If you find that you can't do it with your dominant hand switch hands because definitely using your non-dominant hand will make it very very loose. But as you can see, I'm not writing words. I'm just letting the pen's pencil skip along, and it just ends up looking like someone was writing very quickly. And I went right over the wet paint because that doesn't really matter. Now here I've got a wonderful Statue of Liberty foamy. This is from Natalie Kalbach. I would check out her site. Her foamies are terrific. As a matter of fact, before I use that one, I think I'm going to bring in one of her manhole cover ones. And let's see, here's what I'm looking for. I've got a Distress Oxide in Spiced Marmalade. And I'm just going to get this covered up. And it doesn't have to be perfect. When you're going for texture, imperfection is fine. Let's just put this right there in the middle of my circle. Oh, I love these. These are so much fun to work with. Now for my Statue of Liberty, I'm just going to go in with a Color Crush Black. And you're not really going to be able to see the ink on here. But I'm just covering it. And then I'm just going to line it up. And I'm just pressing carefully, firmly, not too hard. I'm not misshaping. The foamy, this is a big one, so I really want it to all get in contact. And there we have it. Look at that. That looks great. Now I'm going to turn it my way for a second because I want to do one more thing and I don't want to try to do it upside down. I picked up this great stencil at Michael's. It's from Folk Art. And I'm just going to use the blue, I think. And I'm going to use the very edge of this. not going to reload it. This sponge is pretty well soaked. And the nicest thing about this particular stencil is you can see through it. So you can line up your letters perfectly. Or you can make them as wonky a line as you want. It's kind of nice. But you can get the spacing right. Looks like I'm going to have just enough paint on this 
to get myself through. Let's see, stick into my fingers a little bit. Okay, line this up. Now I could have used a little makeup sponge too, but I already had this guy covered in paint. So, so there we are. Very few steps. I've got a wonderful series of layers here. Some nice colors that work well. I've used a couple art foamies, which are fabulous, but you don't have to. You can even find a picture of the Statue of Liberty and cut it out. This just gives you an idea of a jumping off point. But here we go. Freedom. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by Wild Bird Creative.